away. And there's the men's javelin. And Gavin Lovegrove had to work hard to beat off the challenge from Aussie Andrew Curry and Wanganui. But the top Kiwi is out to widen the gap of the men's javelin. It's coming up on One World of Sport. Six Smoke Free Track Series is drawing to a close here in front of a good crowd at Massey Park in Papakura. Well, the men's javelin has been a two-horse race all week between the top Kiwi, Gavin Lovegrove, and the Australian record holder, Andrew Curry. But Lovegrove reckons he can broaden the gap between them tonight with a couple of big throws. Let's find out once again with Keith Quinn. And Gavin Lovegrove could leave the stadium here a lot richer tonight. He only has to finish first or second in the men's javelin to take the first prize in the uh, Grand Prix of $2,500. Here's Lovegrove in round one. And... Oh, he tumbled down, has come across the line, and it went out close to 70 metres. He obviously not happy at all with that one. And so, not a good start for Gavin Lovegrove if he wants to take home the, uh, bring home the bacon, if you like, tonight. Big throw, but he was off balance, tumbled and rolled over the front line, so that's a no throw from Gavin Lovegrove. Here he comes now in round two. The leader actually after the first round is Andrew Harrison of Canterbury with 65.96. But now the big guns get in action after no throws in round one. And Gavin Lovegrove is out. The wind conditions are against the throwers tonight. And there's only one uh, end, one lane for Javelin throwing at the stadium. So they have to throw in the difficult wind conditions. They would prefer to throw from the other end tonight. And the distance for Lovegrove, 76.66 metres. Andrew Curry, the Australian, in round three. Very good form over the past week. Look how close he takes it back to his face. He's almost staring the point right in the eye. And he's gone out over the 70-metre mark. So difficult win for them. Not at all like Wanganui. Look at this. When he takes the javelin back, it's right up against the side of his face. and almost gives the impression he's looking right at the tip. There it is right there. And a very big effort from Curry. And the measurement is there for Curry. 73.88 metres. He's in second place. Round three for Gavin Lovegrove. And the man uh, moving about, waving a flag. So he starts again. There's a race on the track at the moment. She so has to get it in. And a very big effort by Lovegrove in the difficult conditions. Yes, he's out way past the 80-metre mark this time. You can see 70 metres in the background, and that's about as good as they're going to get there. He's all fired up as Gavin. He wants that $2,500 for being first or second. Here he is on the runway. That tremendous concentration into the side steps now and taking the javelin way back, a different style from Curry. 80.44 metres for Gavin Lovegrove. With him there is Mike O'Rourke, who was the Commonwealth Javelin throwing gold medalist for New Zealand in 1982 in Brisbane. So now, Aussie Andrew Curry. A concentration from him. Listen to the big effort he'll put in here. And that's a massive effort, and it's down over the 80 metre mark. 80.44 is what he's got to beat to beat Lovegrove, and he thinks it's pretty close. It died on him. That's the win. Here he goes again. The measurement comes in at 80.68 metres, so the big effort was worthwhile. Andrew Curry wins. Lovegrove is second, and Lovegrove takes the $2,500 Grand Prix prize. Well, the sun has gone here at Massey Park in Papakura, but we still have plenty of action for...